the basic building block for projects on the MPC Live 2 is the sequence. And if you come to the main page, which has its own button here, you are presented with this screen in three parts, sequence, track, and program. And as I said, sequence is the main building block and think of a sequence as a section of a song. And you can uh, scroll through the sequences one, two, three, four, five, six, etc., and you can name them whatever you want, uh, and you can set up templates so they're you know if you have a particular way of working, your sequences are all um, done a certain way. So these are just like dummy ones here. I've set up intro, vox break, drop, etc. Um, and if I hit the list, open it up, you can see under sequence here. All the different sequences and like I said I've named them so it's obvious they work like sections and then you can see unused sequences go on forever um, but going back to the main screen so that's where your sequences live for every sequence you have any number of tracks you need basically and a track is just where you assign your different sounds or programs so um, looking inside sequence one, you can see I've got track one set to drums with a drum program on it. In this case, a Chicago house kit. Track two, I've named bass and I've assigned a bass sound from one of the plugins, uh, chords, etc. So and then again, lots of unused track because I haven't assigned them or created anything in them. And as you go through each sequence, you can have a different makeup of tracks you can add new tracks um, but generally when you're working um, towards a final song and those sequences are going to fit together you kind of want to keep that track structure consistent within it um, because what you're building in each sequence or section is like a vertical slice of your timeline and when it comes to arranging it at the end when you go into um, the menu and choose song mode, then you can see the sequences we've created so far all appear here. As you can see, you just insert sequences and then you can choose what order everything goes in by just changing with the scroll wheel what appears in each slot of the sequence that way you can build up your arrangement very very quickly and easily but the the point is that you can't really um break down those sequences to like um the patterns they're made of each sequence once you've created that vertical stack it kind of stays intact and you just move that sequence around um, so you have to be quite intentional in this workflow. Um, this, this is why it can help to have a template because you're you know, used to working a certain way and you set that up so it's ready to go every time. You don't have to keep naming sequences and setting up tracks every single time you do a project because if you do, there's a lot of duplication. So there is, for instance, uh, one, one important thing to note is that unlike the Machina Plus, there's no patterns in the MPC workflow that might sound strange like you have a sequence that's made up of tracks and within those tracks um, you have obviously event information you have you know you can see these notes within the bass track for instance but there is no uh, pattern in the MPC vocabulary there's no button for patterns if you want to copy the events from this track somewhere else, you um, you have to go into the um, settings. You can copy events in the current sequence and you can choose which track of the sequence you want to move things around to. So straight away, you get some sense of the fact that from this main page, you can do a lot, but you have to go into uh, either the sequence menu or the track menu when you want to start duplicating things, creating variations, creating new tracks, creating new sequences.